Hi, welcome to She Spice. Saying that Diddy is in serious trouble right now is understating the obvious. We all know he's in some hot water and it appears to deteriorate each and every day. It resembles each new title simply affirming all that individuals like Puma Wright and other industry insiders have been saying for quite a long time. As of late, two additional claims have been documented against him, bringing the total to seven or more. We have substantial proof of the horrendous things Cassie affirmed he did, and if that wasn't sufficient, there's a considerably more insane curve. Currently, clearly, they found underground passages at Diddy Chateau. That is correct. It sounds wild, but it's purportedly evident. So back in spring, the federal authorities appraised two of Diddy's properties as a component of an examination concerning a supposed SXFK ring, with Diddy probably being the ring chief, as you'd expect. Diddy denied every one of the charges and claims. However, presently, it just so happens that his $40 million house in Los Angeles has an underground water burrow. The disclosure of these passages under Diddy's manor is frightening, like other underground organizations found underneath noteworthy homes like the Playboy Chateau. Strangely, the Playboy house is only an eight-minute stroll from Diddy's place, and there's a hypothesis that these passages could be associated with filling in as a secret transportation framework for the rich and renowned, say, like his pal Jay-Z envisions a mysterious underground expressway. Connecting these two famous homes, permitting big names to move watchfully among them. Considering what we realize about Diddy, we currently envision the detestations that could have occurred in these passages. I mean, we've seen what he can do in open, just see what occurred with Cassie. We should jump into that piece. I need to say, however, that this video is extremely upsetting, so the last blow comes from a 2016 reconnaissance video that CNN has solely gotten. The video shows Diddy getting pushy, hauling, and kicking his then-sweetheart, Cassie Ventura. Ventura exits a lodging and strolls to a bank of lifts. Brushes, holding a towel around his midriff, pursues down a lobby Ventura. He gets her by the rear of the neck and tosses her to the floor, actually holding his towel shut with one hand. He then goes to kick her. The video shows a portion of the charges of maltreatment against a music investor. Shay Diddy comes in the video caught on numerous cameras and shows him attacking his then-sweetheart Cassie Ventura as Ventura is on the ground. Combs recovers a satchel and bag from the floor close to the lifts. He pivots and kicks Ventura again as she lies still on the floor. Around four seconds happen between the two kicks, as per the video. He then momentarily hauls Ventura by her pullover toward a room under the steady gaze of leaving a claim recorded by Ventura in November last year and settled the following day referred to activities that appear to match those depicted in this video. Ventura is then seen gradually standing up. She accumulates things from the floor and moves to get a telephone on the foyer wall close to the lifts. Brushes are still in a towel and socks return a mirror. Direct opposite, the surveillance camera shows comms seeming to push Ventura. Seconds later, he plunks down on a seat, snatches an article off a table, and powerfully tosses it toward Ventura. He is seen leaving, then moves in the direction of Ventura by and by when a lift entryway opens, and somebody seems to leave. Now this quarrel matches claims in the now-settled government claim documented by Ventura in November, as per Ventura's objection, which refers to the quarrel as happening around Walk 2016. Combs turned out to be very inebriated and smacked Miss Ventura directly upside the head, giving her a bruised eye. Ventura endeavored to leave the lodging, however. He awakened and followed her into the passage of the inn while shouting at her. The protest said he snatched at her and afterward took glass jars in the lobby and tossed them at her, making glass crash around them as she raced to the lift to get away from the grievance claimed after Ventura got in the lift. Her protest expresses that she took a taxi to her condo upon acknowledging that her taking off would cause Mr. Combs to be significantly angrier with her and totally caught in his endless loop of a Miss Ventura, got back to the inn with the expectation of saying sorry for taking off from her victimizer. The objection claims when she returned in safety faculty encouraged her to get once more into a taxi and go to her loft proposing that they had seen the security film showing Mr. Combs beating Miss Ventura and tossing glass at her in the lodging passage, the grievance claims comes paid the. 
Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the Corridor Security film. And as we as a whole realize this is one of various charges made in the November claim in which Ventura guaranteed she was our phrased in 201. Eight, and exposed to long stretches of rehashed physical and other abyss. Now at first Cassie would not say something yet she at last shared a sincere explanation saying thank you for the entirety of the adoration and backing from my family companions outsiders and those I still can't seem to meet. The overflow of affection has made a spot for my more youthful self to settle and have a good sense of reassurance. Now yet, this is just the starting abusive behavior at home, is the issue it separated me to. Somebody I never figured I would become with a great deal of difficult work. I'm better today. However, I will constantly be recuperating from my past. She kept saying thank you to everybody that has required some investment to treat this matter in a serious way. My just ask is that everybody hold. Nothing back from accepting casualties whenever it first takes a great deal of heart to come clean out of a circumstance that you were feeble and I offer my hand to those that are as yet living in dread con it. Act with your kin, don't remove them. Nobody ought to convey this weight alone. This recuperating venture is ceaseless, yet this help means the world to me. Thank you. Her lawyer, Douglas H. Wigdor, likewise had this to say, the painful video has just additionally affirmed the upsetting furthermore, the ruthless way of behaving of Mr. Combs' words can't communicate the boldness and backbone that Miss Ventura has displayed in approaching to expose this. And concerning Diddy, well, he had this to say. However, I come up with no reason why my conduct on that video is unforgivable. I assume complete ownership for my activities in that video. I asked God for his leniency and effortlessness. I'm so heartbroken, and as you can see, the web went totally wild the second the video dropped. One individual said I remained with Cassie prior to seeing her evidence, yet I totally am perplexed by what I just watched. Diddy smacking her in the face, tossing her to the floor, kicking her, and hauling her to this end. You ought to accept casualties when they talk. Cassie remained with Diddy after this man is a tycoon, who likewise had someone KW phrased, and who had another famous rapper vehicle explode. He would have K-phrased her most likely K-phrased Kim Watchman, even a few vips hopped in on the activity, beginning with 50 Penny, who's been on Diddy's case from the very beginning. He transferred the video and subtitled it, saying, currently, I'm certain Puff didn't do it. He is honest. This demonstrates nothing. This is what his legal advisors will say. God help us all, you two responded to the video, expressing that it's over as it ought to be. Don't go after me with that, bringing a person of color down either. In the event that that is your position on this, we're not in a similar situation. It's essentially settled that Diddy will most likely end up in jail sooner than we naturally suspect, yet it could not simply be him. With all the soil surfacing about Diddy, people are guessing whether Jay's next on the hacking block storm. Monroe, an inside source, who appears to have a finger on the beat of this entire show as of late, dropped a video examining how Jay may be confronting a comparable flood of claims when the residue chooses the Diddy circumstance as indicated by the storm. There are a few obscure figures calling the shots in the background, coordinating Diddy's ruin and possibly hauling Jay-Z into the conflict. He's alluding to some obscure stuff Jay supposedly got into throughout the long term that the public won't be too excited about. He likewise discussed Jay-Z's previous coordinated efforts with R. Kelly. Furthermore, great PR and a solid handle on the IND can make all the difference in keeping skeletons immovably secured in the storage room. I suppose you can say the public embarrassment fundamentally comes after the significant narratives come out, just after they are finished with Diddy. Jay-Z is up close to being uncovered, ideal for reasons unknown. You all prefer to advantageously fail to remember what age Charming Brown was at the point at which he was with her. You all prefer to fail to remember that he was moving with R. Kelly, and they were doing a great deal of things together now. While we can't say without a doubt that the amount of the new show encompassing Jay-Z is genuine. On the other hand, when his chance at the center of attention could come, people are uncovering a few old skeletons from his storeroom that could mean something bad and a major piece of it returns again to his past associations with any semblance of Diddy and his close buddy R. Kelly. Once upon a time, Jay wasn't precisely an unexpected phenomenon, 
like a portion of his pals in the music business in the meantime. R. Kelly was currently a major name in the research and development scene, and Diddy was causing disturbances in the record book. The world ultimately crossed paths, and Jay wound up working together with the two of them on different tasks. Currently, Jay and R. Kelly were tight, both inside and outside the studio. They hit up similar gatherings, shopped at similar spots, and surprisingly, shared a couple of heartfelt interests. However, here's where things get tight. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.